everyone and welcome to my channel for another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video and I hope you're all doing good out there today. Thank you for joining in. So down in the description below is going to be a link for this AFK survival job that I have made and you're going to have to let me know down in the comment sections below. If you want to learn how to make one of these super easy AFK survival jobs yourself, I will make an updated video later on talking about step by step how to exactly do this to where you can get yourself one of these yourself. You don't have to depend on bookmarking any jobs or anything like that in the future which is pretty nice and then also you can uh, pick your own location I just picked the military base for the actual structure itself for my idea here for this AFK so what I've done as soon as we load in here which uh, we'll talk about payouts in just a second but the more people here the more money you're gonna be making so that's basically it right there it's not the amount of time necessarily we're spending in here but I believe once you add another person, that's going to bring it up to like $40,000. You add another person to where there's three people. I believe that'll kick it up to about 45. And I think if you add four people, so this is completely full with four people and we're doing the 20 rounds here, then we're going to be ended up making something like $50,000 every single time that we do this. So just take note too, I did, uh, I did drop some armor and a bunch of ammo and stuff like that right there. So first off, we got this little area right here and you guys could literally just make sure that your controllers are plugged in and then just run around in a circle just like this so we got npcs out there and every single one of them every single wave is going to be hooked up with rpgs and we got tons of fencing right here and you know npcs aren't that smart at least they're not as smart as we are technically and they think that they can actually shoot us through this uh chain link fencing but that's not going to happen once again, we got yourself some ammo over here. Don't forget to grab some ammo if you plan on shooting these boogers because there is going to be a lot of them and you can just end up shooting them right back here. So there's another spot that I like to go back here. I just wanted to go ahead and show you this. We got a little bit of a soccer game going on. So if there is multiple people and you don't necessarily want to go AFK, and by the way, don't necessarily go past that line right there because I put that there for a reason. It's a caution. Uh, technically, potentially, if you go past that barrier right there, then you can take damage, like explosion damage from the RPGs. Because once again, I loaded up all those NPCs with, uh, yeah, with RPGs because they're just going to end up blowing themselves up when they think that they can shoot you with an RPG through the fence. Then we got some soccer going on back here. Uh oh, that's not good when the ball does that. <laughs> You don't want to go past the barrier. What did I say about not going past the barrier? Where I can just shoot it out of there. Yeah, it's a great spot though. And I'm telling you, most of the time, like you're gonna end up waiting for the NPCs to actually spawn in and then blow themselves up, which is gonna take longer than them even blowing themselves up. Anyways, look, I'm already on wave three, and I've just traveled back here. I've literally shot no NPCs. They're just doing it for me right here, which is really great about these AFK survivals. You definitely want to be making sure that you're moving around, otherwise you can get kicked for being idle so you know be pressing some buttons every now and again um or just you know do what i do technically make sure your controller is plugged in and then just make it to where you're running around in a circle so i just literally place my controller upside down like on my desk here and then it's good to go and then my character just runs around or you can just do this right here because i was like literally watching a movie or something like that while i was doing this and don't technically go up this ramp. I put this ramp here so you get up on the roof, but it's no good going up on the roof because they'll end up launching RPGs up there at you and it's no bueno. But you can get a little bit of an advantage if you wanted to shoot them, but you can just stand like right over here too and just shoot them. That's the idea of the chain link fences. They think that they're gonna be able to shoot you with the RPGs, but they're not gonna be able to shoot you. They're just gonna end up blowing themselves up and setting themselves on fire, which gives you the chance here to go ahead and just shoot them just like this and just to go ahead and note if you guys wanted to do this in free aim you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot more rp okay because free aim basically everything you do in free aim gives you more rp i don't know if you knew this or not but yep it does so here we go look at this so i'm just gonna go ahead and stand like right here all these npcs you know they're gonna they're gonna spawn in any second i told you you're gonna wait like a lot longer for the npcs to spawn in before they actually even kill themselves and we're moving on to the next round it seems like the timer here uh we don't need the timer i wish i had something to do with that timer down there because i would only make it like you know zero seconds just keep having them spawn in i think they have the timer down there so you can like technically run and go get armor or ammo or a gun or something like that or go get into a hiding spot or something but there we go past 
20 waves, super easy, and can be done completely AFK. I ended up making $36,563 right there. Not bad money, especially when you consider, you know, the possibilities of not having to own anything. Uh, no expensive cars, no expensive buildings. I just bookmarked this job, and you guys could be making your own job. This is a matter of fact what I plan on doing for GTA 6 when it gets here. If there is a creator mode for survivals or something like that, I'm definitely making my own survivals to where we can do the same thing that we're doing over here. Ho hopefully, maybe they'll have something like that, maybe not. And once again, if you want to learn how to make one of these yourself, let me know down in the comments sections below. And the link for this job will be in the descriptions uh, for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, which is why I you know, said if you want to learn how to make one of these yourself and you're on PC or if you are on Xbox, just let me know. And I will go ahead and update this with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make one of these AFK survivals. So if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, be sure to hit the like button down below on the way out. Subscribe for new content and leave comments. But there, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. My name is Gravesite and I'll see you in the next one. So peace.